Sometimes the difference between an amazing weekend and a miserable one is the friends you share it with. This weekend was rough, exhausting, and even scary at times. You can either gotta go for it or get hooked up and back up. It's up to you. But it was the guys on this trip that made it one of my favorite weekends ever. This is our Cold Water Run 2023. Hey Nathan, what happened? Ben's working on his Jeep in my garage, getting ready for the trip. He had a few issues with some control arms. I'm pretty much packed and ready to go. Just gotta stop at the gas station to top up with some, some diesel for the diesel heater because it's gonna be cold this weekend. All right, everybody's here that's meeting in my house. We are ready for our cold water run. Uh, guess which rig is not like the others. We've got several guys meeting us at camp and I think one or two tomorrow. But we're pumped. It's gonna be cold. It's gonna be awesome. Now right, we're gonna go, we're gonna head to camp now. Not touching the ground? Nah, just Barely. you're skimming it. Well, we have made it to camp. Didn't take as long as only like an hour from the house. But we've got, of course, myself. And Robert's got his forerunner. We've got John in his JL. Uh, Nathan is riding shotgun with me this weekend. Uh, he's not his Jeep. He wanted to just focus on taking pictures and stuff and helping me shoot video. And then we've got Ben and his JK, which we're glad to see back. Because if you watched our Colorado series from the summer, Ben's Jeep was in the shop. And he actually just got a heart transplant. Brand new engine in his, um, in his JK. And then we've got Ben's dad in his JK. And we've got James on his way. He's about an hour and a half out. We've got Paul on his way. He won't be here till later tonight. And then tomorrow, we will meet up with Robert's son, Matthew. Um, so, got a big group this year. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. It is stupid cold. It is really cold. As you can see, we've got some snow on the ground here. We did have a decent snowfall the other day and they're still lingering around in patches. And we have the pop-up pit. It's gonna be real cold. I'm regretting not bringing my pop-up pit for even a bigger fire. Trip. That first Colorado trip really is. That looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yeah. I've never, never heard of is it. Oh, here's my fault. I know. Food. Well, we have had just a great night chilling around the campfire and talking and catching up because we haven't like our group hasn't hung out since i guess rendezvous in the ozarks but you weren't even there for that there, so it hasn't been here in ages it's been bonfire for me <laughs> last year bonfire yeah. that's nine months no. dang so well, we have well, been colorado. colorado colorado that's right okay. so but not everybody months. went to that so six months yeah. but it's been too long so we've just been hanging around the campfire catching up telling stories laughing um it is getting stupid cold. Uh, diesel heater's on. I'm gonna already go up in the tent. You don't have a diesel here. <laughs> Christmas, that's what you need to get for your for your birthday. No. It's a diesel heater. Just, I just need a snuggle buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Which on this trip is your dad. There we go, so <laughs> we're good. So anyway, uh, we're going to bed now and see you in the morning. it 
it's uh it's not a bad making some oatmeal this morning for breakfast and then we're gonna hit the trail we've got uh, a lot of fun stuff to do this weekend um, my predictions are uh, there will be recoveries there will be soft shackles of shame given out i hope there's no damage or breakage um, i don't i don't think there will be and I, I think the water crossings will be good not not low um, not 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 dangerously deep at all but i think they'll be just right so it's gonna be a real good weekend it's gonna, with these guys oh my gosh we're gonna have so much fun and that's what it's all about it's hanging out with these guys that makes this the best weekends ever just the best We are off and there's a lot more snow here than I expected. I thought it was going to be all gone. I definitely didn't expect to be driving on snow. This is kind of cool. I mean, we call this the cold water run for a reason and you can't get much colder with the water than snow yep. and ice. So. Well, we have got a good mix of trails today. Uh, going to a waterfall and some technical stuff, multiple water crossings today. It's gonna be good. We have such an amazing group of friends that, I mean, they're all brothers to us. Um, but none of us live in the same town. Like, none of us. Uh, most of us live in different states. So it's, we, we cherish these times that we get to get together like this. We do it as often as we can, it's just not as often as we'd like.
There you go. Nathan, what happened? Hey, John! You forget somebody? What? You're supposed to pick up Nathan. I never heard that. <laughs> Come on, Nathan, just swim! I'll make you pucker a little bit. A little bit. I was trying to knock, knock, knock out your camera too. <laughs> Appreciate that. There you go. Just hold that. I'll go back to the driver just right here. There you go. There you go. Very good. Whoa! We got a big tire in the air there. If you climb it, you're good. If you slip, you're bad. Just watch it, see what happens. That's much better already. There we go, there we go. The back tire may slip, but you're fine. You got it. Hey, give a little momentum. You're still good.
Yep. You're definitely gonna slip in. Got it. Very nice. Almost off this trail. Then we gotta find lunch. Find a place for lunch. This has been a lot slower going with all the down trees that we've had. We just got off this trail, stopped for a quick bite for lunch, and then about to hit the hit the road again. But here's a, a quick damage report. So far, we've got a JK drive shaft going out. Um, on Dave's JK, uh, very common. It's a, it's a, it's always a matter of when, not if. And then Robert has a new, um, a new memory from this trail from a tree. So he's he he can't keep track of what damage is coming from where anymore. But those those came from this one he thinks. But we are having a blast. And I'm anxious to just get back to camp later and just chill somewhere. Wow! When's your life? Vince decided he wants to try to go over these. I recommended against it, but it's been. And on the pumpkin, on the drive shaft,
have a problem. I'm not sure our really nice DeWalt chainsaw can clear that one and winches. All right, we're gonna we're we're trying to cut and pull at the same time and be as safe with this as possible. Ben's hooked up to me, so I don't move because I don't want to be pulling this tree and bend a tie rod or break a tie rod by having my my wheel turn like that so um we're, we're giving it a go glad nobody's toes over there no. we're changing our angle of pull just to, because we really want to pull this section that way anyway, then try to break it from this direction. So mega long toe strap as a tree strap around the big tree over there with snatch block back to the, to the dead tree. Well, after all that, the DeWalt batteries finally, it, it needs a break. So, but we can get over this. We can just drive over it. Robert, we can just drive over it. But uh, I think we can get through now. As long as there's nothing else after this, we'll be okay. And uh, so, yay for the DeWalt uh, cordless chainsaw and yay for the open road 13,000 pound Panther Series 2 winch. That was a heck of a pull. That's probably the hardest pull I've ever done with this winch. And it did get great. So I continue to be impressed by, by this thing. So yay, open road four-wheel drive. I also want to uh, give a shout out to my friends at Yankum Ropes for the crew fair lead. Um, that, was, that was a hard pull. And really grateful that if something had happened, there wasn't some uh, heavy thimble or hook or you know some big chunk of metal at the end of that had something happened to, to to become a projectile so really happy with having the groove fairly didn't know no 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 metal stuff there <laughs> Under your front locker, try to be turning passengers as you go. Drive is good. Good gun. Ah. Alright, let's just pull you. Come on. Alright, he's got it. Passenger. Alright. He's fine. Yeah. Keep winching, keep winching. Just keep winching. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Now he's got the tree moved out of the way. Keep going! You're almost there! Yes! You made it!
All right, we're just pulling this thing out of the way, making everybody's life easier. All right, let's see if Paul can make it through without any incident. Trees falling on him, getting stuck in the mud. All the way over. Oh, we had a successful Jeep through. No winching required. Good job, Paul. Way to go. Good job. That looks so good. It was so hard, man. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> yeah, two hours. I can't believe you didn't lift a tire. Two seconds. You don't like you. You like All right, well, that was fun. Whew, I'm uh, I'm tired now. Oh, Lordy. Are we gonna make that? Ow! That <laughs> hurt so bad. <laughs> Don't do this with your windows down. <laughs> All right, how are we over there? I'm good. How are we over here? We look good. Well, apparently there was a landslide here. There is a path through it not uh, not an easy one but the hardest part is going to be fitting through these trees What I'm gonna do. Ish. I see it. About to come down over here. Yeah, you're good. There you go. Whoa, he got way off over there. Good. Yep. Yeah. All right, man. Good job. Little driver. Little driver. Come on. You're gonna slide in. You're good. Little driver. All right. Straighten up. No. Driver. There you go. Come on. Little passenger. Yep. Straight. No. Straight. 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 Oh. You got it. Beautiful. Oh, Hey, little, hey, go, go a little. Oh, he's way over. He's way over, guy. Yeah, we're good. Good. Come on, strut. You're, uh, you're at the tree, so pop a cone over. He's saying get out of his way.
Good. Start trying to drive a little bit. Just a little bit. That's good. A little bit more. One more driver. Alright, come on. we made it to camp and it's not the one that I had selected for us but it's a really nice one um, I'm all set up Nathan's getting set up uh, Paul is getting his hut um, hot house this little shelter thingy going over there that's interesting it's new James is almost set up. Ben's almost set up. John lives set up because he just sleeps in the back of his Jeep. Yep. All done. He's the quickest setup of all of us. Nathan is over here cooking some chili for us tonight for dinner. I predict there's lots of leftovers. I can't wait. I'm starving. Is there any way you could speed that up? I hope y'all are ready to eat because there's a whole lot of chili up in here. Well, good morning. It is Saturday morning and we are starting to get packed up it's just after 8 o'clock. Unfortunately, we had to say goodbye to Ben and Dave because they've got to be back in Houston or Dave has to be back in Houston. Ben has to be back in Mobile because um, Dave's a worship pastor and he has to be at church in the morning and Ben plays guitar 
um, at church, and so he's got to be at church in the morning to play guitar. Uh, so we're just getting packed up. We're not in a rush to get out of here, but we've got an amazing day planned with some 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 a lot more technical trails today than even yesterday. So should be should be interesting. Uh, we did have Matthew show up, uh, Robert's son, in his uh, Tacoma. So we haven't wheeled with Matthew in years, so we're excited to have him with us uh, today and tonight and tomorrow. And it's just an incredible, incredible weekend so far. We do have rain moving in later today. Hopefully it won't be too heavy, but I think we will have a wet night tonight at camp. But this has been such an amazing campsite that we have not stayed at before. Uh, it did have some trash in it that we're going to deal with before we get out of here. But this, God, look at this. Look how blue the water is here. And this looks very deep. This would be an amazing swimming hole to come back to late spring, early summer. Got the rapids down there. I'm actually kind of glad that the campsite we were going to stay in was, was occupied. So, But we're going to just keep knocking away and getting ready and roll out here and probably 30 minutes I've got a couple new things that I've been testing out on this trip um, one is a new mattress in my tent it is a four and a half inch thick uh, combination memory foam and inflatable it's by a company called uh, lost horizon you can get these off Amazon I'll leave a link in the description I am incredibly impressed with this thing this is super comfy you do have to you know inflate it and deflate it before folding up your tent but that does maybe adds another i don't know a couple minutes to the teardown process but this is this is more comfortable than my mattress at home and i'm loving it the other thing i'm testing out on this trip is this trash bag from atelier i think i'm pronouncing that right maybe Expedition Adventure. They're a Canadian company and they make this trash bag that allows it to hang from the tailgate and when you shut it you secure it up so that it doesn't flap around on the back and I, I, I've always wanted some trash solution for the back of the Gladiator but a normal you know trash rouge style doesn't work because it doesn't allow it to drop and hang down so so far i'm very impressed with this thing it's working very well on this trip and it's from proverbs it says uh, a man of many companions may come to ruin but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother you know when we were younger we have a lot of friends that we just naturally were friends with like neighbors or people that we played sports with but when we get older for some reason it just seems to get a little harder to either make new friends or keep those friends for a long term and uh, so I think it's just important for us to remember that life is more than just having acquaintances people that you just come and go and pass through your life but it's important to have strong friends like here's just a few questions someone something to think about do you have a friend that sticks closer than a brother do you have someone that you could call to cover your mortgage for a month do you have someone that you could confess an affair to someone that you could go on a week-long vacation with so it's just important to have brothers that will hold you accountable that will be committed to encourage you occasionally admonish you and i think if jesus himself needed brothers to live with then we all do too oh, i am thankful that this group fits every one of those criteria to me Big time. Just keep confessions. <laughs> All right, we are off, and it's going to be a good day. And like Nathan said, and we are incredibly lucky to have this group of friends that we get to do this with. Yeah. That is what makes these trips special. Not, I mean, the wheeling is awesome. The, you know, the, the campsites are great, but just hanging out with the guys 
is what makes it special. Love it. Absolutely love it. Had fun hanging out with you. I like having you around shotguns. Days. So, some things coming up. Uh, hit that subscribe button for um, some, a, a bunch of us, Nathan can't go, uh, are going to Moab in March to run the hard trails again. Because with Kara's new, um, Kara's new Wrangler, she wants to run Pritchett Canyon. I broke a U-joint on Pritchett Canyon, so I uh, want revenge. I need redemption. And Robert, John, James, um, we're gonna go and have fun. Sean, from the story till now, he's gonna join us on some of the trails because he'll be in Moab at the same time. So hit that subscribe button. We've got a goal this year to cross 100,000. Um, and I, I, I know we can do it. So go, go check, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and uh, we very much appreciate it. Unfortunately, we drained both batteries for the DeWalt yesterday and don't have the charger for it. So any trees we find down today, we have to deal with manually. So, uh, Paul, so what uh, what have you learned about your new Jeep after the water crossing? That uh, you should check your floor plugs. It's not terrible, but it's... So, Paul didn't realize his floor doesn't have the drain plugs in. Oops. Oops. <laughs> and that uh, was that was deeper than my 38-inch tires. Anybody else get water? No? All good? Everybody's got their drain plugs in? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful to do. Oh Lord, not again. Two. Oh no. Huge one. Oh, we're not getting around that one. <laughs> well, since we are just an hour from a town with the Lowe's and a Home Depot, we're gonna make a run to town 
get another get a gas powered chainsaw because I think we're just going to be dealing with that all day long with the recent storms and snowstorms and stuff because that was a very fresh down tree. Um, and then we'll skip this section of trail and just continue on. But I think we, I just think we have to have a chainsaw to clear stuff like that, which means we have to go back through that water crossing and Paul gets his floorboards back again. Look at this one. I mean, go big or go home. Well, we are back to the trailhead for the next set of trails. As you can see, it is raining and we are airing back down again. Should be fun. Should be uh, quite slippery this afternoon. It is, it's about 1.30. So we've got one, two, three little sections of trail. They're not little, but three sections of trail that are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I suspect there will be some winching on this one hill climb. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Well, I have never been this way into the area that we're going to and the hill climb that's coming up. Is it a little bit like a balloon? Low tire pressure. Every time. Taking a left, taking a left on Outback Lane. It could just be a county road. I don't know. Could be overgrown. I mean, it's probably, I'd say 50 50 chance. There's lots of pines. <laughs> but Robert did get a brand new Hus Husqvarna? Husqvarna. 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 Uh, chainsaw for us so we're good to go there 20 inch 20 inch blade that's, that's good yeah I, we wish we would have had it yesterday yeah. <laughs> and odds are now that we won't find another damn chicken <laughs> but we probably will just keep running in a small small tree after small tree that's broken halfway up the trunk and laying over the trail so far we've dealt with four already Robert and Nathan are actually walking in front of us right now just because we just kept hitting them back to back to back Solo trips, I would not be having fun right now. You'd be turned around. I'd be turned around. 
But with all of us together, this, this is this is quick work. part of it. This is camaraderie and, and it's, it's, it's not bad. Man this work. makes it, yeah, man work. This makes it more fun. been through tighter. Well, we did find this beautiful campsite down through here. This is the middle fork of the Illinois Bayou. A huge swimming hole. Look at this. Beautiful. And not too far from here, we're gonna have to cross this, so it could get interesting. Um, I mean, depending on what the trail's like from here, this, uh, this would be a good spot to camp and swim when it's warmer. I mean, I like it. Definitely gonna mark it. And this is the trail from hell. There is so much clearing of downed trees that is not on camera. Oh, uh, we did not uh, film it, but yeah, we just uh, we just cleared all that. Oh man, this is this is a day. Wow, they rough. Tired. We having fun yet? <laughs> yeah. What did Nathan just say? A hard day on the trail is better than a good day at work? That's a fact. That is a major fact. This is your work. Yeah, I'm working. You are. Yeah. So a hard day on the trail is a good day at work. That's how it goes. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, well we are to the water crossing. That looks like a very deep entry. I can see rocks under the water right there, so that's a good sign. Does this say okay. you? Pretty much just the entrance. Yeah. You're cold? It's real cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Rock's lab here. Yeah. So. He's still right there in his pockets. We got big rocks here, not like real big, like 12 inches. 12 inches. Trying to find rocks too. Right, it stays a little shallower. This way. 
just a hair. This this right here is the deepest. Is this drop in? Go over your hood as you drop in, and then on the passenger side. Quite possibly. Flowing on the passenger side. Oh. Everybody got it. Over there. Oh. I can't feel my balls. You got that on tape? I can't feel my balls. Please, tell you, <laughs> Please, you want to feel them for? <laughs> I think he'll be fine for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you feel like that. I think so. I, I don't have any doubt. Because oh, I think I think once you get in, you'll push some water out of the way in a bow wake, and then you'll you'll be fine coming right back up. I'm in now. What do you think? You either gotta go for it or get hooked up and back up. It's up to you. Oh Lord. I'm in the deepest spot. Now you gotta go. Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Nice. Right. That looks good. That was not so bad. It was not so bad. It was not so bad. Alright, well that made me nervous. Now it's Matthew's turn in the Tacoma, which is the small, not smallest, but well, probably the shortest vehicle up here. It does have a 3-inch lift and 35s, um, so I think it'll be okay. Robert's next, with Matthew not having any issues, Robert shouldn't have any issues. Whoa! Wow, that went way deep. What? No water in the cab. Nope. I like his fogs under the water, kind of cool. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I didn't think about that. I should have done that. Hey! Great. Alright, one more rig to get across this one. Like I, I we we didn't passenger. die. You did. You, you did. did. You go as deep as they did. Okay, so the good news is we don't have another water crossing. Um, we do have one major hill climb still to go, and it is five o'clock. I'm just kind of punching through this stuff. Not too bad. Looking, a little spooky out there. looking very spooky. But it's five o'clock, so it's gonna be getting dark soon. Now it at least like to be up the hill no, on the hill climb before it gets dark. I don't want to be down in this mess having to clear trees. So we'll see. We made it through the water crossing, so that's that, that's a win. If we can have to winch up hill and stuff like that, that's fine. Oh, 
what do we got here? Oh, I think we just go over this. We got a log here. I'm just going over it. I know, let's sketch. I think this trail is overgrown for a reason. Nobody wants to do that water crossing. Oh, shoot. Um, Matt, did we not do that water crossing a couple years ago? Negative, we did not. Hold up, Matthew. I'm going to have to cut through this mess. Oh, no. Like, no. I saw that. I thought it was... Oh no, it's, oh, golly! It's now 5.45, we are still not to the hill climb out of here. We keep running into small trees with a mega crap ton of vines. Oh lord. What do we have now? Uh, okay. It is now 6.20 and we have started on the hill climb trail. Um, which isn't too bad except for one technical ledge between trees. So, we'll see. I forgot how steep this thing was. Steep ledges right up here. Yep. There's the right too. Yep. You have All right, we're at the ledges. Go for it. All right, come on, Gladiator. Yes. Got it. All right, made it farther than the JK did. All right, I made it up the ledges. All right, now going up this hill, Matthew's Tacoma is overheating and is in the red. All right, none of Matthew's lockers are working, so he's winching up the hill. back on the move again trying to get off this trail from hell well I'm happy to report that we made it off the trail we made it to camp Nathan's cooked us dinner with some tacos and some chicken tacos and we're tired and we're gonna eat
yesterday was rough. The second hardest day I've ever had on trail, being topped only by Pritchett Canyon uh, two years ago. I, I was describing it as the, similar to Pritchett, but with trees. Um, there's a doozy. Um, don't, uh, would, would not have gotten through that at all without, without these guys. Um, just being able to go through that with them made it, uh, you know, a, a laughable memory instead of just a horrific experience. <laughs> oh, but, uh, man, what a day. What a day. So I'm so sore. I feel like I moved a hundred trees yesterday. Probably because I did. Um, today we have um, one new trail that I've, I've, I've run, but I've never filmed and these guys have never been on it before, uh, with a sweet water crossing. Uh, that's, that's like first thing when we leave here is, uh, is that trail. And then we'll zip down the highway just a little bit and then hop on another trail that's got the really the steepest hill climb. Um, I think one of the most difficult hill climbs in the Ozarks. Um, but we're going downhill, so it, it wouldn't be possible to go uphill today. It's just it's too wet and slippery. Um, but we're going to go down that, which should be fun, because a couple of these guys have never been on that trail. And then we'll see what time is. Um, we'll plan on ending about lunch today. This has been one for the memory books, for sure. Man, what a weekend. Father, we just uh, thank you for this time together uh, with our, our family, Father. Um, we just thank you for you know, our safety. Uh, we just ask that you watch over us today as we go and enjoy your creation, Father. Uh, and just put a hedge of protection over us as we travel home. Amen. Amen. already cleared these trees oh I hope it's not a repeat of yesterday so well I spoke too soon I can clear that one two three cuts remember to keep your uh, just go ahead and turn your truck off Matthew
Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's a massive tree in the middle of the trail. I don't even know if we want to even attempt this one. Come take a look and let's evaluate, but I mean, we did the water crossing, we can turn around and go back. Where does the other trail go that's right here? Uh, it dead ends into some really cool, beautiful spots. Oh, never mind, it's a dead end. Wow. Yeah, that's very fresh too. It's gonna have to go that way. Yeah. Because we can't get stuck on that tree now. Uh, yeah, we would have to cut through. One, two, three, cut these here. Yeah, I don't even think, I don't think this is doable with the equipment we have. Do what? We're good. We're good. We're gonna turn around. <laughs> All right. Another day. All right. We'll uh, reroute. That's part of it. It's been a long time since I've been down this. We have made it to the infamous Biendorf Road, otherwise known as Winch Hill. This is the easy part. It's only 20 degrees downhill. Man, this bypass looks gnarly. After walking that, I'm actually a little nervous about going down. And the camera's not gonna do it justice. But it's freaking steep. But gravity's on my side. Here it goes.
Okay. Water. Man, caught that tree just right. Dang. That was, I'm pretty sure I could poop a diamond right now. Had a sketch. Whoa, hang on. No, I'm just, no, he's, he's trying to go that way. Robert was nervous about that one. Whew. So uh, this is a way to end the day with your adrenaline going. And we're not, there, there's, there's more after this. There's one more pretty nice hill climb drop stuff after this. So I'm not done yet.
All right, everybody made it down safe. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> We ain't down yet, bud. <laughs> now I'm going down on foot when we're going to bust on this. Stay straight. You got that rock right there. Driver, wait, whoa, whoa. We are down the hill. We got one water crossing left. It's been a heck of a day. Not near as hard as yesterday, but still, it's been a heck of a day. I would say that over the past two days, we did a lot of other people favors by clearing the path, but not many people go on the trail that we were on yesterday. No, definitely not. Well, yeah, I think that's probably true. But maybe they will, because uh, it's pretty cool.
Man, what a heck of a weekend. Y'all exhausted? Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm ready to go home and take a shower and go to bed. Pretty much. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. This was a, a little bit different. A lot of work. This was a lot, a lot of, work. of work. A lot of work. So anyway, if you would give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. If you're not, check out our Patreon. If you want to follow along uh, this route, get access to special content, uh, special events, and all of our GPS data. Look at that link in the description. And for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.